it down the street by the store that used to be. Snatch it, go, we call the taxi, headed down to 52. Watch your choice for the room. When the cab stop, I said, Ain't got no money. Then she paid the dues. She caught the room. I told her I left my wallet home in the debit too. Hit her with the winky loo. She said, It was worth it, boo. Plus, my dick's incredible. This is what a nigga doing. Ain't got no money. What? Club, seen this girl, thick as fuck with a cup. She put it down, I picked it up. Yup, I drunk a liquor up. Looked across the bar, and I seen what I was looking for. What took a bra so fine, I probably even lick it up. Listen, my, this your boy, lazy eye for Carolina. What am I spending time putting something in your mind? Or maybe I could take that time to take that crook up out your spine. She asked me for a glass of wine. Hit her with my favorite line. Ain't got no money. She said, what? I don't speak, we wine, but you so fine. I'ma say this one more time. Ain't got no money. And guess what else? Ain't Got no fancy car. She said, that's all right. She puts the jag and tipsy off the drink she had. And she really need my help to make it back to the pad. We had the light off in her jag. She put her head up in my lap. Make your boy feel relaxed. This is how a nigga act when. Cause you'll see this model take the pistol. All the single ladies, 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 all the single ladies. Now put your hands up, up in the club. Hey, welcome back to the show. This is a throwback Thursday, 2009. Uh, the number to the show is 404 382 You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Uh, we got the music from 2009. So I watched this video this morning. Man, that goddamn Beyonce can dance her ass off. She killed it in this song. Hey, uh, 404-382-0338 is the number to the show. As I just mentioned in the first segment of today's uh, show, man, UFC star Conor McGregor will fight former boxing champion. And I say former because well, Floyd hadn't fought in a couple of years, like 2015. Uh, But they're going to fight in a boxing match on August 26th at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. UFC President Dana White said the mega fight will air on Showtime pay-per-view and will be at 154 pounds. A uh, two-division UFC champion, McGregor, who's 21-3 and in MMA, uh, 28 years of age, will be making his professional boxing debut. The man's first boxing match, you, you got to remember, the man's first boxing match is against Floyd Mayweather Jr. Not a good look. Not very smart at all. The 40-year-old Mayweather, and that's one thing you could say um, that that's of concern and very small concern. When I say concern, I mean like half a percent concern is that Floyd Mayweather Jr. is 40 years old. And as I mentioned, he hadn't fought since 2015. As a matter of fact, September of 2015, when he beat up Andre Birdo to retain his uh, welterweight world title. Uh, The 40-year-old Mayweather last uh, fought, once again, in September of 2015. His record overall is 49-0, 26 knockouts. Not been the knockout guy over the last couple of years as he was a little bit early in his career. Um, But it's almost like he's smarting or fighting smarter, um, not, you know, longer. Uh, that, that saying that they have and talking about working. And so he's gone out there and been very efficient over his last several fights, have fought big names, and has won in dominating fashion for the most part. This Canelo kid that just had this great victory a couple of weeks ago, Floyd dominated him. I mean, you can just run down the list of names of who Floyd Mayweather fought, and he is absolutely dominated. So... Uh, he's going to have too much to train. He's going to have too much to get ready and get his mind right and uh, in boxing shape to go out there and handle his business. One of the, a lot of people argue, one of the or the best defensive fighter of all times. Um, I don't see why that's going to change at all. Like, I don't see anything to indicate that Conor uh, McGregor's got a, a shot in this fight. Uh, odds makers in Vegas wasted a little time in releasing the opening line for the fight. 
for those of them that have been following the drama over the past few months, uh, it, it should come as no surprise that Ford is a huge favorite. According to Westgate Superbook in Las Vegas, the undefeated Mayweather has been priced at 1 to 11, uh, that's minus 1,100 odds, meaning bettors would have to wager $11 to return a single dollar. That's right. Bets on McGregor, 7 to 1 or plus 700, who is a big underdog due to the UFC's boxing inexperience, will return 7 for every dollar risk. Okay? So if you bet a dollar on Conor McGregor, you're going to get 7 back. But the chances are, and the point is, you might as well take that $1 that you was going to bet on McGregor and light it a fire. Take every penny that you wanted to put on Conor McGregor and hope for an upset and just grab your lighter, your big lighter, and set it fire. Okay? Right. Uh, that, that's the chance you got to make some money on betting on, on Conor McGregor in this fight on August 26th. I'm excited, man, because I think this is a, this is a, a, a way to, I guess, peak a little bit of interest into boxing. It's a way to peak a little bit of interest into UFC. Now, I talked a lot of trash about Conor McGregor getting his ass kicked, which that will happen. But I like UFC. I like MMA. I, I like seeing people get their ass kicked. I've said that many, many times before in my life. So I like that. So this is going to bring a little bit of attention to MMA, a little bit. Um, I don't know at the end of the day, once McGregor loses, will it help MMA or not? Or will it actually even hurt it? That this guy will come in and one of the best in that particular sport probably won't even be competitive um, with a boxer from, a, uh, from, the, from the sport of boxing. And so uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what it will mean long term. But it's very intriguing. It's very interesting to think that these two guys uh, at the top of their particular professions are going to meet together in the squared circle, as the great Tony Schiavone used to say, Gordon Soli used to say back in the day. They're going to meet in the squared circle and get it on, uh, to quote Mills Lane. Uh, So what are your thoughts of it, man? Is there somebody listening to this show right now that thinks that Conor McGregor has one of those quote-unquote puncher chances? All right. As I mentioned in a little post that I put on Facebook this morning, like the whole punches chance thing, really in this scenario is null and void. He's got probably a 0.1% chance of a puncher's chance, seeing as Floyd Mayweather Jr. has, as I said earlier, never been knocked down before, never been on his back ever, fighting against some of the greatest boxers of all times. This is boxing rules. This isn't MMA rules where Conor McGregor can kick him in the back of his leg or, or throw an elbow at him or lift the knee and put it under his chin or something like that. This is boxing rules. So why would you think that there's a puncher's chance with Conor McGregor when Canelo couldn't beat him with a puncher's chance? When Oscar De La Hoya couldn't beat him with a puncher's chance? All of these guys, all the list and list and list of fighters that Floyd Mayweather Jr. has fought in his career that had that same puncher's chance but wasn't able to do it. Uh, what are your thoughts, man? 404 Let me jump in the chat room and get some of your thoughts on uh, on this fight, your your early reactions on this fight happening once again August 26. And this is one great email, one great text message that I'm glad I saw very early in today's show from Sluggo X Squad. He says, "Didn't Doug and Ninja bet five stacks regarding if the fight would even take place?" Oh shit! That's right. <laughs> You are 100% right, Sluggo. If if my memory serves me correctly, that ninja who's always just being a contrarian in the chat room trying to argue it and and, and talk about this and talk about that, bet me five stacks, if I remember correctly. I think he bet me five stacks that the fight wouldn't even happen. I need my money, ninja. I need that money. I need that money. I can't start to tell you how much I need that money. So, I mean, we're in contact with each other off the air, you know, uh, because we, we're kind of in business together with the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network as he has his own show. So I need that money. It's as plain and simple as that. I don't know if he's listening right now. I don't know if he's in the chat room. But the studios have already spoken. 
and I'm, I'm, I'm echoing their sentiments. I need that money. You bet me five grand the fight wouldn't even happen. Five stacks. I think a stack is $1,000. I, I need that money. Simple as that. From Rough Buff, Old Man Cuddy, a.k.a. Jungle Brother, a.k.a. B.A.B., a.k.a. Black African. What up? What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you saying <laughs> Old Man Cuddy, a.k.a. Jungle Okay, I'm just going to ignore that. You're joking around. Good morning, Rel Scott Dobby. They both pimped the system. Connor Smooth talked his way into more money than he can make in four UFC fights. Plus, going to, uh, plus Floyd's going to get 50 against Ran, amateur, an amateur while making $200 million. Right. And that's probably the number that we need to be looking at for Floyd Mayweather Jr. And I don't know the exact details of the deal. But Floyd's probably going to get $200 plus million. He's gotten $200 million for the Pacquiao fight. Uh, I believe he was somewhere hovering around that for the Canelo fight as well. And so, I mean, we're saying $200 million, But the hype surrounding this thing and the people wanting to see Floyd Mayweather Jr. lose, the people that hate Floyd Mayweather Jr., the, the fans of UFC and MMA that have been, you know, saying for many, many years that their sport is more exciting than boxing and it's overtaking boxing as far as, as fan interest in this country – that want to see their sport win against boxing, all those people are going to come out. So, I mean, we're saying $200 million. I think that's where you start. We're saying $200 million, but, I mean, this thing could easily get Floyd like $300 million, which is so insane to think about, to pass Rocky Marciano for his 50th straight win and go out undefeated, retire undefeated. This is like the, the most incredible setup for Floyd Mayweather Jr. ever. This man's going to make probably $300 million. I'm going to start saying $300 million from now on. This man's going to make like $300 million to fight a cupcake. Like it's not even something that he is really even concerned about, I would say. Only in America. I tell you what. When I get back from the break, man, y'all got a lot of comments in the chat room. I'm going to read some of your thoughts and what you're thinking about this fight as it is uh, a done deal August 26th this year in Vegas. I'm going to get your thoughts in the chat room. You can also call the show live and be on the air live at 404-382-0338. That's 404-382-0338. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Back in three minutes. It's a joy to 